Hello everyone, my name is Nesik and welcome to the final part of my movement tutorial series. This time I'll be covering long jumping, which is probably the, I would say the least important and toughest uh, technique out of, the, out of the four that I've been teaching. And so basically this is a combination of crouch jumping, usually, and air strafing. Really it's just air strafing on its own, but it gets, it gets mixed in with all the other techniques. And so basically what a long jump is, is it's a jump where you want to travel in a straight line, but you want to go further than a normal jump will let you. And so normally you have a velocity of 255 maximum, and you gain a little bit on top of that with the jump. But if you do air strafing in a kind of a wiggle, then you can continue going in a straight line while gaining more speed from this wiggle. And you have to make enough speed you had, like sorry, you had to gain enough speed to make up for the you know the you turning in the in the incorrect direction, right? Because obviously, if you turn to the left a little bit, then you're not facing towards the target directly anymore, and so you've got to be making up enough speed to make up for that difference. And so, I've found one jump in the game <laughs> that does require a long jump, sort of, which is this jump here on FOF Revenge from this platform to this platform which actually has a bit of invisible clip outside of it. I'll show you what it looks like without it, that's what it looks like in the game but there is actually a little invisible lip here. Why is it there? I don't know but anyway um, so you can you can jump from from here to there without a crouch jump if you long jump it, right? You need to be strafing back and forth if you just do a normal jump, which I'll do now, oh, cannot quite make it. Might have been a little bit off from the edge, so I'll try that again. As well as I can, cannot make it. Just barely missing the lip, right? And so, if I do a long jump, I'll try to get this first round. There you go, that's a long jump. And so you saw, when I started jumping, I immediately did a very sharp strafe to the left, and then I wiggled to the right and then back to the left again. And in this game, you really only have enough time for about that many strafes back and forwards. Um, so yeah, just, just two or three is enough to get you a good long jump. And so it's only a difference of, well, how many would that be? Anyone that's good with hammer would probably know. That's probably about 20 units, I think, that you can gain with a long jump. And really, it's not crucial most of the time, but it's a quality of life thing, and it's a security thing, right? And so if you if you learn to long jump all the jumps that you do then ultimately you're going to find yourself find yourself in less situations where you're just barely missing jumps right and there are a lot of places where you want to be doing these air strafes to make them like this very confusing jump from this piece here to this piece right here if you aim there with a crouch jump we can actually make it over, but you saw I was doing a little bit of a strafe there, just to make sure I actually made it, because if I did it directly, I wouldn't be confident. There's also a bit of an angle thing for that one, so it doesn't really count, but any, any jump that I make, I always make sure to strafe just a little bit, so that I know that I'm going to make it over, and, you know, obviously it gets you a little bit faster as well, it's just a split second difference kind of thing that can really help you out in the long run if you learn to do it all the time, basically. But yeah, that wraps up the movement tutorial series. So there's air strafing, crouch jumping, bunny hopping, and long jumping. And I created these in order of importance. And so learn air strafing, then learn crouch jumping, then learn bunny hopping, and then learn long jumping. And if you have these four techniques mastered, you should be totally comfortable moving throughout all the maps. And I will put up map tutorials that show all the different jumps that are possible with the different techniques. And maybe I'll expand upon this movement tutorial series another time talking about the slowdowns that can affect you and full crouch jumps which is like a crouch jump but you crouch entirely before you jump all that really does is it makes you do a really slow jump but you, your character stays crouched I might go over that and similar things but for this series that about sums it up so I hope these videos helped you out and if you enjoyed them leave a like and leave any comments if you have anything to say about them, whether it's the quality of the videos or my commentary or something like that, but anything you have to say, leave that in the comment section, 
And if you want to subscribe, then subscribe, and I'll be putting up some map tutorials and other Festival of Frags related content. But that's the end of this series. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.